good at basketball? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. We y'all want to get that out the way early? He's good at basketball. Boom. There we go. <laughs> okay. Tigers, you were as animated as maybe we've seen you on some of those finishes. Um, just what were you able to figure out as the game went along as far as how to finish through contact, go around those guys that let shot blocker like Ruby and just continues with that, that whole thing? Uh, I was just trying to be aggressive. Um, you know, they, they're trying to play to where we can't pocket pass to Joel sometimes. So I got a few turnovers that way. And uh, I had to keep them honest. So I had to drive a couple of them. And I was just, you know, excited, man. I was excited for our team. You know, we need this one after after the loss that we had on uh, Monday, I think. So this is good for us. Along those lines, you know, they got, they got the jump in that third quarter. What kind of got things kind of kick started after that? When you guys picked that up from there, what kind of changed after their initial rush of that early, early third? I think we did a good job of seven. We put in um, Marcus Morris, Patrick Beverly, um, KJ Martin was really good. Those guys came in and gave us a lot of energy. KJ defensively was really good. Offensively in the dunker, he was really good. Uh, Marcus was good on defense. You know, those guys really gave us a big boost. And then Joel was, was you know, in, out there with that group, and he was very solid. So, And then the fourth quarter, you know, we had those guys out there again, Pat, uh, Marcus, uh, Paul Reed was huge. He was on the glass, he was defensively with his hands. Um, so it was really good. How creative do you have to get offensively when you're being guarded by a guy like McDaniels all game who has a significant high advantage on you? Uh, extremely creative, I guess. I mean, he's a really great, great defender. I mean, he's been like that since we were young. Um, you know, what he does defensively is special, I feel like. And then offensively, he brings, you know, pretty good shooting as well, and he can tag off the dribble. So uh, kudos to him. But, I mean, we're just out there trying to be aggressive, find different ways to attack, not just him. But, you know, they got Rudy out there and have some really good defenders. How much of a test was this for you guys? I mean, they came, I think it was like one point at their initial start. They were like 19-3 to three coming into the night. How much of a test was this for you, or did you view it as a test, or – in terms of just being able to like, get a game like this one and a win like this one, is that kind of that kind of his team? How big was this one? Uh, I think it was big because it was the next one up, especially after losing to Chicago. That's why it was, it was so big. Uh, you don't want to lose two games in a row, especially at home. So, um, you know, I went, I, we tried to focus more on ourselves. You know, they're doing a great job in the West, so they're playing really well. But uh, it was the next game for us, for us. And, um, and I think we did a great job of accepting the challenge and going out there and being successful. Was the, uh, was the, was the, uh, was the plan to have an attack of your bigs? I mean, you uh, know, Joel had 17 field goals. All twos seemed like he was hell-bent on um, going after their bigs. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's kind of, that's Joel. Well. I think he goes after all the bigs in the NBA that guards him, bigs, guards, whoever it is, and then that's what we expect him to do. You know, he's dominant, he's been dominant, he's extremely aggressive, and we need him to stay that way. Um, and then, you know, with P. Reed out there, we try to set high ball screens and attack him because they're in a the drop, and I think we did that for the most part. You yeah. talked about um, Joel going downhill, going and attacking the rim more than he ever has. How much does that open up in his game, and how much does that open up the offense for everyone else? Uh, yeah, I mean, because they have to collapse, and uh, he's able to kick the ball out. You know, he has, he's been reading the game very well, in my opinion, and he's kicking the ball. He knows when to score. He knows when to pass, and that's been great for us. So him being aggressive is something that we're going to need him to keep doing, you know, throughout the year. Joel's been scoring out of the story great, but he's bringing a different energy this year. How has that helped you and the rest of your team feed off that energy and being aggressive on both ends of the ball? Yeah, he, he wants everybody to be successful. He wants the team to be successful. And for that to happen, he feels as if we have to move the ball more. We have to uh, not just pass the ball and, and stand and watch. So uh, we've been doing a lot of different things. And, uh, you know, kudos to him because he's he's really bought into it, you know. And then on the defensive end, uh, he's been really aggressive in attacking those those shot blockers. I mean, you know, blocking shots for us. And uh, because he does that, we have to cover up and get some of those rebounds that, you know, when he goes to block shots. And, you know, that's just shout-out to, to, to Coach Nurse as well. He's been on Joel about going out there and, and swinging at some of those shots. So it's been great. Well, well, you you've been, uh, you've been asked this already, but all-star voting began earlier this week. How much of that is that? Is it a goal of yours to make your first NBA All-Star team? Uh, right now, I'm just trying to focus on us winning. You know what I mean? I think all those things will, will, will play out how they play out. But uh, the main thing right now is us winning and getting better every single day. I feel like uh, that's what we're doing. We're taking steps in the right direction. And uh, we've had a pretty good December, so we got to keep it, uh, keep it up. You've had a lot of VHO with both Paul and Joel. You're on the court with either of them. I guess when, when they're getting ready to hand off to you, how does the defensive 
strategy against you change? Like how, how do you think they're guarding you if Joel is the one coming off of the DHL versus Paul? Yeah, it's definitely different sometimes. Um, you know, with P. Reed, they try to trap sometimes. And, uh, you know, me and P. Reed have practiced a lot in, uh, in, in the practice facility of just when they trap, get in the pocket, I'm going to hit you in the pocket, and you either go finish or make a play. So he's very comfortable in, in that position. And then with Joel, it's hard because the big doesn't want to help too much because at the end of the day, that's the MVP. But uh, if he's able to get a screen, you know, I can I can knock down a shot or turn the corner and make a play for somebody else. Tyrese, you mentioned, always mentioned the word aggression a lot. I think throwing bigger defenders at you like McDaniels and guys like that is probably trying to psych you out, take you out of that mindset. I guess how do you maintain that? And then especially when they have a bear at the rim too, that even if you beat that level of coverage, it's even more length you got to beat at the rim. Uh, I mean, speed and then just being decisive. Um, you know, they're up high uh, trying to pick me up at, at half court. And, uh, and just my opinion, I just don't feel like anybody can stay in front of me uh, at, you know, picking me up that high, you know, just from speed and just skill and, and work. So it's just like uh, I try to be extremely aggressive. And, and sometimes before Joel comes sits ball screens, uh, just beat the man one-on-one and then get in the paint, not always for myself, but just to collapse the defense. So I think that's one thing to try to um, negate the height. But, uh, I mean, I just try to go out there, and Joel's going to be on me if I'm not aggressive. So try to start aggressive and, you know, see how the game goes. As you uh, become a higher volume three-point guy over the years, is there anybody specifically like other NBA guys that you've tried to borrow from them in terms of studying their film and their game and all? Yeah, it's a few, you know. You know, just off the top of my head, uh, you know, Dame and Steph are guys who shoot a lot. Anthony Simons is a guy who can shoot off the pocket, pull up threes. Uh, and I've watched a lot of that, you know, just hunting those threes because it helps us. You know what I mean? Like, it makes the defender come up, especially Joel's man, if it's Joel, and they can't drop and just play drop, drop, drop coverage. If I'm able to shoot those shoot those threes off the dribble, and then it just it makes them convert on me, and I can get easier pocket passes to uh, big fella. Thanks, guys. Oh, <sighs>